what we've been faced with for too many years are people that have been undertreated because they are overweight. And overweight does lead to a number of serious medical conditions, asthma, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure. And those particular conditions often are neglected because doctors are afraid to have the discussion in the first place. This opens up the discussion. Okay, but Dr. Uh, Siegel, I, I get that. But isn't it really a matter of diet and exercise? And if you do those two things in, in the proper balance, don't you lose weight? Well, John, it's not always a matter of that. And that herein lies the problem. Sometimes it is lifestyle. Sometimes it is exercise that will treat it, getting off the couch. Sometimes it is diet only related. Sometimes it's other metabolic conditions that we have to figure out. I don't think medically, strictly speaking, that obesity is a disease. I think it's a syndrome or a condition. Utilizing it in this way is more or less a gimmick to get more attention spotlighted on it, which may lead to better treatments. And as Dr. Fershine said, it may prevent diseases I'm really worried about, like hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. On the other hand, it may lead to insurers covering very nebulous treatments that are not scientifically proven, some kind of systems, things that are, will extend health care costs. So I can look at this both ways. Yeah, there, there are also some, some uh, new drugs on the market for for instance, that, that might be covered as you know part of a medical uh, treatment plan if now this thing is considered a disease, right? Yeah, I mean, we have 80 million people right now who are clinically obese, and 17% of children are obese as well. What we have is a situation where we need new treatments, we need to incentivize insurance companies, we need to incentivize the food industry, the medical industry, and the pharmaceutical industry to create new treatments and new approaches to deal with this problem. Right now we're failing, and this will be a serious problem for us going forward. 500 billion in estimated costs within the next 20 years. But I can also hear people saying, you know, oh, I, I, I'm not going to, you know, give up my car and walk to the store or whatever. I have a disease. Well, that's what I'm worried about. Now, look, this is an enormous problem. I don't want anyone out there to think that I'm minimizing this. Obesity is an enormous problem, and it's connected directly to our worst health problems in the United States, including heart disease, and in certain cases, cancer. Sedentary behavior, we're, we're rampant with it. And it's not just one-third of Americans being obese. It's two-thirds of Americans being overweight. We need to shine a spotlight on it. We need all kinds of treatments and incentives for it. But calling it a disease is unclear whether it's really going to move things in the right direction or not. We need more attitude. We need more doctors talking about it. We need more patients thinking about it. All right, we're going to have to leave the discussion there. It's an interesting concept. I, I don't know, good arguments on both sides, really. Uh, Dr. Siegel, Dr. Fershine, thanks Thank for coming you. in. Good